Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Girish uh, Ayer uh, from Charles Darwin University. Um, I hope uh, you all had a, a wonderful uh, morning and uh, all of you are safe. I'm just going to quickly run through the um, some of the key informations about Charles Darwin University, uh, starting with their um, with their ranking. Um, so. Uh, to, to talk about Charles Darwin University, uh, you, Charles Darwin University is obviously based out of Northern Territory in Darwin and um, uh, ranks number one in graduate salary outcome nationally across Australia, among other, uh, other universities as competitors. Um, university also ranks number two um, in full-time employment. Uh, so five stars for graduate employment with almost 85% of our graduates working full-time. Um, and I guess the advantage for, uh, for, for, for the students for this ranking is that most of the courses at CDU are also uh, have internship as part of the curriculum. So what happens is that that gives them a good opportunity, uh, not just to learn theory, uh, theoretical side of things, but also gain practical experiences as well uh, and trying to implement those learnings uh, in, in a real world scenario. Um, CDU also uh, is, uh, is based out of Darwin, as I mentioned, so very, very close to Asia. Uh, Darwin is also known as Australia's gateway to Asia as well uh, because of its location, which is right on top of uh, Australia. It's also called Top End. Um, and because of that, uh, we are very, very closely connected to uh, countries like Singapore, um, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia. Indonesia is very, very close. And so our ranking of uh, to be recognized as one of the top 100 APAC university, which is the Asia specific university is also very, very important to us. Um, I'm gonna uh, run through the location. So I'm not sure if many of you have seen the uh, where, where Darwin is located. So this is the map of Australia. And as you can see, Darwin is located right on top of Australia. Uh, we have multiple campuses. The university has campuses in uh, Casuarina, Waterfront, and Palmerston. Uh, we also have a campus in Alice Springs, beautiful place, uh, very well known for Uluru, if you, if you have heard of it, and also um, uh, Sydney campus. So we do have a Sydney campus, but that's primarily our health pressing campus. So we offer uh, mostly all our health programs, um, uh, which are still some of them we already offered. Some of them we will be offering in the in the in the coming years. Um, so that is where the location of uh, Charles Darwin Universities, and that is where Darwin is located. Um, Quickly going through the total strength of the university is 12,000 higher education uh, students and 9,000 plus vocational education students. We do have approximately 2,000 plus international students studying across multiple campuses at the university. Um, so Darwin is obviously is a very beautiful place, very tropical climate. Uh, the nationality of Darwin, if you come across, because it is very, very close to Asia, um, you have 60 different nationalities and 70 different ethnic backgrounds. So it's a very multicultural city. And uh, Charles Darwin University also has a large multicultural um, cohort of students, uh, as well as you will be able to see that multiculturalism in the staff as well. Um, the population of Darwin is only 160,000 people, so tremendous amount of opportunity and a beautiful place to live um, um, in, in Australia as well. Um, talking about advantages, uh, obviously you can obviously see these are the advantages online, but I want to highlight uh, as far as Darwin is concerned, um, the small class sizes are one of the biggest advantages for the student lower cost of living as compared to bigger cities like Sydney and Melbourne and maybe Brisbane as well. Uh, the nationality of the students and most of our program have internship integrated as part of the program. So that is one of the other advantages of for students studying at the university. Um, uh, Sydney also has a, has a very beautiful campus, modern campus right across Central Station. If anybody you know where Sydney is, uh, Central Station is, uh, again, uh, the courses that we offer in Sydney are also health, health related courses, which do have uh, some of the courses do have internship opportunities as well as part of the program. Again, the small class sizes makes it more, um, more advantages for the student, and it is a very cosmopolitan uh, lifestyle as well as uh, Sydney is concerned. Um, this is the main campus of the university, as all the facilities, the Katrina campus is the main campus, it's built across 56 hectares of parkland, so you can imagine the size. 
Uh, it has all the modern facilities as well as student lounges, cafes, dining areas, art gallery, bookshop, ATM, post office, everything. And the public transport is right at the university as well in front of the university. So it's easy for a student to commute uh, within the campus and the, and the other places within Darwin as well. Uh, May is our international student who has successfully graduated from Master of Professional Accounting and is now working as a customer service specialist at West Bank Bank. So you, this is also part of our the ranking that we have in um, as number two uh, in full-time employment graduates outcome and also the salary outcome as well in number one ranking. Um, these are the areas of study areas that CDU offers courses, which is business, accounting, creative arts, and many of the other areas as well. Um, so you can see these are the courses which are widely available for international students. We are accept, uh, accepting applications for July intake at the moment, uh, because July intake with the current uh, COVID-19 situation, the July intake is being offered online. Uh, um, so students have the opportunity to start the courses at the, at the university online. That basically uh, blends in very well, because if they start the program then they have they can learn new things at the same time it also helps them um, uh, with the advantage of uh, knowing to know the university better and also the courses that are being delivered rather than having that gap uh, which is which which might which might not be very useful for them so they can start in july and day and as and when the borders open uh, that is completely up to the federal government of australia and that will be announced widely whenever that happens but as and when the borders open then students still have the option of uh, coming to the campus and finishing the program uh, students uh, also have the opportunity to take up the November intake. So we do have a November intake, but we do offer limited uh, courses for November intake. Uh, this is a, this is purely for uh, for the reason that we are in currently, which is the COVID-19 situation. So we will be offering business courses, uh, some of the courses uh, in IT and engineering, uh, some of the courses in health as well. Um, so student can make the most of it by enrolling, uh, starting the process now and also have the opportunity to either do the July intake online or they can also do the November intake as well. Uh, so uh, most of our programs are accredited. So we do have MBA program, MPA program, MPAs on accounting degree, professional accounting. That has minimum 300 hours of internship as part of the curriculum. The advantage for the student is that the college will help the uh, student find the internship in the area of their specialization. And we offer uh, specializations like management, marketing, entrepreneurship, and international logistics, and, and all those areas. Uh, digital enterprise is a very good uh, program, very new program in in bachelors which is has a combination of management marketing and information technology all our accounting programs are accredited by cpa australia and the chartered accountants of australia and new zealand as well um, so you can see there's a range of opportunities where the students can make the most of it um, entry requirements are very simple. You can contact the, the IDP office for more information regarding your specific uh, Bangladesh entry requirement. They will be more than happy to help you out. Uh, IDP is an, uh, one of the authorized uh, education uh, agent partners of the university. So please feel free to contact them to get to know what exactly are the entry requirements for Bangladesh market. Um, uh, health courses, as I said, we do offer a range of health courses um, in, in different areas. Unfortunately, some of the uh, uh, some of these courses uh, um, um, are, are uh, offered in February intake and some are also offered in, in, in November intake as well. If you want to do uh, some of the courses online for July intake, you still have the option to do it. So please go ahead with that. Um, and uh, these courses are also very popular. And most of these courses have, again, internship as part of the curriculum. Uh, which the student has to do and the college will help you and find that internship for you. Um, um, the entry requirements again for, for the Bangladesh market uh, might be a little different from an academic point of view, but English uh, entry requirements are uh, similar. Uh, so, so please keep that in mind and connect with the IDP offices. Uh, engineering and IT, one of the most popular uh, courses among international students, particularly from, from Bangladesh market. Uh, so we do offer in uh, IT courses in specializations like cybersecurity, data science, information systems and data science and software engineering. These courses are accredited by Australian Computer Society and, um, and also under the CEO record, uh, some of them. So you, you have a globalized, uh, globally recognized degree. 
uh, in engineering, we do offer mechanical, civil and structural engineering and electrical and electronics engineering as a specialization. Uh, so student can do master as well as bachelor's program in these specializations. And all our, most of the courses that I have in engineering are also accredited. Um, and and that, that is again under the uh, Engineers Australia and recognized widely under Washington Accord accreditation as well. Um, Entry requirements, as I mentioned, please connect with IDP office and they will be able to help you out more in detail. Um, education is a very, very interesting and, and one of the most growing uh, um, skills and profile from a job perspective, uh, not just in Northern Territory, but also in uh, other areas, other cities and state and territories of Australia as well. Uh, we do offer courses that are accredited by Australian Institute of Teaching and School Leadership and Teachers Registration Body of Northern Territory. The courses that lead to teacher's registration, if anybody is interested in becoming a teacher and want to uh, uh, teach in schools, uh, private or public, doesn't matter, uh, they can do uh, specializations like in early childhood teaching, primary and secondary teaching, and you can see the specialization within the secondary teaching that we can offer the various areas that the student can pick. Um, some of these courses, especially the ones that lead to teacher's registration, have a very strict uh, IELTS requirement. Uh, so they need seven bands in all with no band less than seven. Um, for specific entry requirements, please speak to the IDP office, but we do offer these courses at both bachelor's level as well as master's level. Uh, if the students are not interested in becoming a teacher, but they want to do a course in education, they can also look at master of education, which is a global learning and a master of digital learning features. These are also very, very well defined and very uh, very well uh, curriculumly developed courses so and you can have those you can look, look at those links for more information regarding these programs um, emergency and disaster management this is a very very interesting area and very limited number of uh, universities across the globe actually offer this program and for CDU particularly the master of emergency and disaster management is a very very uh, uh, popular courses among international students it uh, basically what it does is students learn scenario training authority industry expert complete placements at leading aid agencies uh, NGOs uh, and government and government departments uh, as well the student learn basically how to approach uh, a disaster and emergency and a community risk uh, as a whole uh, so that that learning is quite widely accepted and i think similar to the situation that we are in right now uh, if we had students with these kind of skills and experts it will probably help um, a lot of people and a lot of countries and departments and work so it's, it's a very it's a very excellent profile to have in very new and some of the students are not aware of it, but then the, that is this is something that the student can explore as well. Um, coming uh, these other other things, but I particularly wanted to talk about scholarships. So CDU does offer a range of scholarships, uh, starting from fifteen percent for uh, for the first year uh, to twenty five percent for 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 first year, and then for subsequent years ten uh, percent. We do have Global Excellence Scholarship, which is fifty percent for the first year, then ten percent for the subsequent year as well. Uh, what the student needs to keep in mind that there is a specific uh, percentage requirement for each of these courses. Um, uh, usually, for a Global Achievers, which is a fifteen percent scholarship, you can uh, you need to have sixty percent in your previous education uh, or an equivalent GPA score. Um, and for global leader, you need 70% and so on with the other scholarship as well, like 80 and 85% for vice chancellor's international scholarship. Um, so, and uh, the, the state of uh, Northern Territory, the territory, sorry, in itself, uh, does offer uh, the, the government uh, scholarship, which is called the Study in NT, uh, Australia's NT scholarship. It's a one-off payment of up to $12,000 that is being, um, that can be uh, awarded to the students. Uh, keep in mind that these courses are all merit-based, so students have to meet the criteria. Uh, and for other than the Global Achievers Scholarship, all the other scholarship require a, a, a scholarship application. So you can submit the scholarship application at the time of your course application as well, but they all have a deadline and um, they all need to be applied uh, via uh, IDP. So you can apply that through IDP as well. Uh, and uh, this makes you then the, once the scholarship team decides what the, uh, who gets the best scholarship, then they accordingly the scholarship will, will be awarded. But students are 
can feel free to apply for the scholarship. Student can also apply for multiple scholarship if they are eligible. Uh, but then at the end, once if it all the scholarship is awarded, then you will students will get only the one scholarship, not multiple scholarship. Um, uh, on campus accommodation is also available in uh, in Darwin campus and it's a very beautiful accommodation very very close to the university as well all has all the facilities so student can stay in the campus and they don't have to travel much and uh, uh, fortunately on campus accommodation is also the cheapest among other campus uh, different types of accommodations that are available in Darwin um, so student can make the most of their their learning experience while they are studying at the university um, just to give a, a brief idea, this is just a, a, an estimate a weekly expense for a single student. Uh, so the first category is International House of Darwin, which is the on-campus accommodation. Uni Lodge uh, Darwin, which is a private uh, accommodation, student accommodation, which is probably about 10 minutes away from the campus as well. Again, a very uh, a alternative option for students who, who they don't want to stay in the campus and then there are other rental accommodations that are available but one of the things uh, that i wanted to highlight was that with the uh, on-campus accommodation and the uh, uni lodge darwin campus accommodation the student private accommodation more the rent already includes the utility uh, expenses like gas electricity water and internet so a student doesn't have to pay anything extra I think that saves a lot of money. Uh, and the other advantage for the student is that public transport is only $7 uh, unlimited travel uh, in a week for a single student, which is like $1 one day unlimited travel. I think that is probably the lowest in the country, if I'm not wrong, for international students. They do get discounted rates as well. Um, but that is that that will help you save a lot of money from from that perspective as well um food and groceries and entertainment is purely based on your lifestyle uh, that depends on students lifestyle if they have a um the way they they they, they have their lifestyle too much entertainment too much partying then yes the expenses are going to be much uh, but if you have a moderate lifestyle then you you will probably have a less expense um as well um, most of our international students do study while they are working. Uh, sorry, they do do work. Well, sorry, um, my mistake. Most of the international students do uh, work while they are studying at the university. And as you can see, the average per hour rate for international student is uh, $24 per hour on a weekday, uh, $26 per hour on a Saturday, and $29 per hour on a Sunday. Um, uh, keep in mind that these are just an average estimate. Uh, the rates per hour rate would vary depending upon the job, depending upon the profile, uh, depending upon uh, the company and everything. So a lot of other factors also matter, uh, but this is just to give you an, an, an average, an example um, estimate of what the students might possibly get in Darwin. Um, I think that's about it. Uh, so this is the student support area. So university will offer you a lot of support systems that you that will help you uh, while you're studying at the university, not just from an academic point of view, but all other um, your simple thing as career and employment counseling, accommodation advisors and assistant, even financial planning. Uh, student uh, will also able to be get a, academic support like uh, library guides and and um, and academic language and learning success programs these are different uh, workshops uh, study skill workshop that the, that the university and the support team conducts um, at the same time you also get other visa related uh, um, support system as well wherever is required um, that brings me uh, to the end these are some of the resources you should look at it I particularly wanted to highlight the student stories which is a launch pad so you will be able to see the success stories of the students who have actually come graduated from the university and uh, you never know they might have graduated from a course that you are interested in so uh, you can have a look at it uh, you can also visit the Facebook's uh, Facebook page uh, the Instagram page of the university as well so you can connect with the existing students you can keep yourself updated with the information uh, latest information about Charles Darwin University uh, look at the in the current scenario uh, COVID-19 um, um, thankfully uh, the community has been working very very coordinatively and they have been uh, very closely working with the government and with each other as well uh, ensuring that we have very less number of COVID-19 cases so we had probably around uh, 29 cases of COVID-19 if I'm not wrong uh, from the from the time we had a lockdown uh, this is um, 
probably early March or um, uh, or second of March, and since then uh, most all of them have recovered. We have never we have not had any deaths so far because of the COVID-19. Uh, so at the moment the restrictions are lifted. Uh, NT is a, a, a safe place um, to to live, um, and we all are enjoying that freedom, I suppose, uh, because we all have worked hard to make sure that we we abide by the social distancing and and hygiene factor that we are supposed to do in, in a situation like this. So uh, if you have any questions at any point in time, uh, that's my email ID, uh, that's my mobile number, and um, please feel free to write to me anytime. I'll be more than happy to help you out uh, with any of your questions and queries. Uh, these are some of the social media platforms that we uh, usually get connected and post a lot of uh, new and exciting things for international students. Uh, so do connect with us and uh, and hope you have a safe and a lovely stay back home. Uh, and if you need any any support system from my side, please do let me know. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful.